Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we calculated the capacitance of a capacitor that had two dielectric layers in it. Here, we're calculating the capacitance of a capacitor that has three dielectric constants. And it turns out it's a very similar process. Again, we have all the information we need. The capacitance of a capacitor that just has air, the capacitor of a capacitor with a single dielectric layer. Notice that we add the constant K, which is the dielectric constant, which increases the capacitance. We also have to understand that the electric field emanating away from a charged plate, such as a capacitor plate, is equal to the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught. Or if there's dielectric there, we have to include the dielectric constant, which can also be written as Q over A for the, the charge density, because basically that's charge per unit area. Now we also need to know that the electric field magnitude is equal to the voltage between the plates divided by the distance between the plates, and that means we can write the voltage as being equal to the strength of the electric field times d, which means we need to calculate the strength of the electric field in each of these three layers, and that can be done using this equation. So we'll have electric field strength in layer number one, electric field strength in layer number two, and electric field strength in layer number three, and from that we can find voltage one, voltage two, and voltage three, because ultimately we need to add the voltages across each of the three layers. We can do that as follows. The capacitance now is equal to Q divided by the voltage across the first layer, which is equal to the electric field across the first layer times the distance of the first layer, or at least the thickness of the first layer. And E can be calculated to be Q, K, epsilon sub naught times A. Of course, in that case, we're going to use K sub 1. So the voltage is going to be E times D, and E is Q divided by the dielectric constant of the first layer, times epsilon sub naught times the area of the plates. We're going to multiply that times the thickness of the layer, and we'll call that d sub 1. We add that to the voltage across the second layer, which is done exactly the same way, which is the charge on the plates, times d2 divided by k2 epsilon sub naught times a. Notice, of course, that the cross-sectional area, or I should say the area of each plate, is the same. And then plus the voltage across the third layer, which is q, d3 divided by k3 epsilon sub naught times a. Notice in the denominator we can factor out a q, an epsilon sub naught, and an a, and we'll do that for all three terms. This then becomes equal to the charge divided by q over epsilon sub naught times a times the quantity d1 over k1 plus d2 over k2 plus d3 over k3. And also notice that the q's cancel out, so this becomes 1, that cancels out, and it also becomes 1, and then we can move this to the numerator, so we can then say that the capacitance of a triple layer dielectric capacitor is equal to epsilon sub naught times a divided by the sum d1 over k1 plus d2 over k2 plus d3 over k3. The d's are the thicknesses of each of the three layers, and the k's are the dielectric constants of each of the three layers. And that's how you find the capacitance of a capacitor that has three dielectric layers in it. That's how it's done.